going to point out where Gigi's at, definitely those winds have calmed down. But that's not to say that everywhere the winds are calm. We're still picking up some very strong winds, especially up at the ridge tops when uh, Stu and the crew zoom in really close to the tops of these ridges. You can really see those trees and the palm trees and the palm fronds moving around quite a bit. So the brightly colored areas here is where it's particularly windy. Parts of Ventura County, up in the foothill communities, just above Malibu, actually, we're picking up some of those strong winds. These are the dynamics that are in place right now, driving these winds out of the northeast. We've got an area of high pressure that is in control of our weather that's situated here over the Great Basin. We have a trough of low pressure just to the east. It was really that difference in pressure that helped drive those really strong, dangerous winds last night and early this morning. Well, that pressure gradient is relaxed just a little bit, enough to where those winds have actually weakened slightly. So there's a little window right now that firefighters are using. The fixed wing aircraft is flying up there, now uh, putting uh, the water as well as the fire retardant, that FOS check, so that's really important. High pressure in control of our weather. We see this weather pattern often, especially during the fall and winter months. This is when we would typically get these strong Santa Ana winds. These winds coming out of the northeast, they get to, they push down on the mountains, they compress and they warm up. It's almost like holding a water hose, you know, when you put your finger through it and that water just goes rapidly out of that hose bib. And that's what happens when it comes out of those canyons below those passes. It also dries out further when it passes across the, uh, the high desert areas. And as that air squeezes through the canyons and passes, it warms up. And that's why often we will get those temperatures to be closer to average if not even slightly above. And that's what we're experiencing today. Those dry conditions, warmer conditions equate to very high fire danger. Uh, the smallest spark can cause a fire and under these weather conditions can spread rapidly. We call that explosive fire growth potential. And that's why the National Weather Service issued that red flag warning. And you have been warned. We talked about this or Samata talked about this since last week, giving you a big heads up on what was to come. And it did come to fruition certainly yesterday and especially last night. Current winds, these are sustained winds nearing 20 to 30 miles an hour in Camarillo, Oxnard, 28 miles per hour, just above where Gigi's at, the Mal Malibu Hills, 21 mile per hour winds. So see, even if it's not windy where you are, that's not to say that everywhere else is not windy as well. So get those strong gusty winds here parts of the five freeway you will get uh, blown around quite a bit so you might want to postpone your travel lighter winds near the basin downtown la compton torrance um pretty calm uh, conditions there but out towards the Inland Empire, we're picking up some stronger winds. Parts of Riverside, Corona, up into the mountains. Certainly that drive up there, uh, we're experiencing some stronger uh, wind gusts. So travel impacted by these strong winds, the power outages that are out there, certainly. Uh, you might be getting some of those messages from uh, Edison and our power utility companies because they're trying to prevent further fires with these down power lines, potentially. We have the fire danger that's going to continue along with those very very low relative humidity values. So that's why the wind warnings may be allowed to expire later tonight. Depends on what happens with the wind, but the red flag warnings will continue through tomorrow. Highs today above average in the low 70s, closer to the coast, to the valleys, and then uh, 40s up into the mountains, 58 in the high desert to that 70 degrees in Palm Springs. The good news is by Thursday, the winds will shift. It'll be more of an onshore flow, and there's a chance that we could see some light sprinkles or some light precipitation. I'll go over all that in the seven day in just a few moments.